Hey guys, but Bambi TV guys, they're gonna be reacting to two Muslim men getting my reaction. <sighs> guys, just leave your thoughts in the comment section. Like I, I keep mine for later, but leave your thoughts in the comment section. Let's go straight into this. <laughs> شيء فهو يخلفه وهو خير الرازقين. We want to establish an amazing masjid for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa taala in the country of Norway. Click on the link and donate now for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa taala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. I'm here with the champ, the one and only, the beast. The one that is unaltered. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> unaltered? Oh, yeah. you mean like uh, in terms of gender dysphoria? Yeah, like, yeah, okay. yeah, that's it. That's what I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm the same. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Consistency is key in life. Yes. So, brothers and sisters, in a nutshell, this video has been sent to me left, right, center. Yeah, I, I actually found it funny. I didn't even know if I should do a reaction video, but it's, I just found it really funny. Uh, but, but this you, is you thought you'd do it anyway yeah you know because the thing is well like, it's just it's just it's just it's crazy it's crazy so do you want to watch it so here we go and you know what's really funny what's really funny is what they're reciting yeah and i, was, I had to say i'm into it you ready all right <laughs> sorry sorry okay <laughs> Guys, I'm not <laughs> seeing it. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim maliki yawm ad-din. Iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in. Ihdina as-siratal mustaqim. Siratal ladina an'amta 'alayhim ghayra al-maghdub. Okay, I have to say I'm into that, yeah, because Surat al anta alayhim yani Definitely may Allah keep us on the right path I mean. uh, Because this is actually very uh, It's crazy because the thing is we know that um, This is two queer gay Muslims basically Two men who are getting married uh, Or doing a nikah Now the funny thing is obviously there's a few conditions for a nikah uh, To be accepted uh, Subhanallah So they don't fit any of them from the, from the asl is batil Yeah it's from the asl yeah, From the get go this is invalid So for an action to be accepted, we know there's two things, which is that you have to have the intentions, which is that it has to be for the sake of Allah, uh, something that we as YouTubers struggle with, we should work on, uh, which is very important actually. Intentions. Number two is the actions. So the actions have to be according to the Sunnah. Now we know nowhere from the Quran, the Sunnah, anywhere of the Sahaba, the Tabi'in, the Tabi'in, tabi there is nothing ever has happened in history. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is condemned Not only that destroyed nations Because of this action Let alone Them doing a nikah So when you see this I mean like What goes through your mind Because I don't know if I should laugh or cry on the matter There's one thing The one example that came into my mind mm. That was like a vegetarian yeah. Who's so desperate To cling on to the title of vegetarian yeah. But he can't do the actions of being a vegetarian So he tries to Superimpose. Oh no, no, no! I'm gonna eat meat, but I'm still a vegetarian, mm. which goes against the definition of a vegetarian. Exactly. Which goes against the principles of a vegetarian. But he still identifies as a vegetarian. But he still identifies as a vegetarian, even though what he's, the actions that is following is not of a vegetarian. And that's the thing. Islam. Mm. I mean, one of the five things that he came to preserve was family. Yes. The lineage. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The 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 lineage, family, and it takes these things. Very, very seriously, mm. categorically, this is haram. It's not yeah. permissible. In fact, Islam is being praised by many people that are accepting Islam as being the last line of defense mm. against this LGBTV phenomena. Mm. Yeah, so Alhamdulillah, this is a source of pride for us. Yeah. Yeah. Not that pride, Ali. Yeah, don't get oh, excited. Okay. Yeah, this is like it seems mm. like certain words and certain colors mm. have been hijacked mm. as well. Oh yeah, everything. But, everything uh, hijacked. but Subhanallah, this mm. is a form of pride that we say no. We can categorically say this is wrong. 
it is not within the scope of Islam. Mm. It's an aberration. It's not allowed within the religion. Mm. Clear cut. Not only that, it's not valid. So meaning, look, it can be. Look, I can look at these two people and be like, you know what? They are really being tested and they just think in their head, look, the intentions can be that. I cannot doubt the intention of someone's heart. I can't say, you know what? The intentions are, they actually are sadly misguided, but they genuinely think that this is somehow going to make it halal. It's not. The action within its very self is haram. So you doing a nikah doesn't make it more halal. In the sight of Allah, nothing has changed. It's like eating you pork still... and then saying Bismillah before eating it. Well, exactly. And not only that, like we can take the, the situation where, for example, if a man and a woman is getting married and the wali is not there, it's the nikah is batil, unless you're a Hanafi. Okay, but in general, the Prophet, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said there is no um, nikah without the wali. So, therefore... The point is what? You are doing a nikah, you're committing zina. A man or a woman, for them to, at least they can have a condition that can be fulfilled. If the father knows, okay, it's nikah. But with you guys in that situation, man, you can bring the father, the, you can bring whoever you like. The nikah is battle within itself. So to these individuals who are going through this, look, I've spoken to many gay people, etc. Even in the park last week, I told them, look, we don't hate you. I don't want you to feel like you can't be a believer. You can be a yes, Muslim. Yes, yes. You get it? I spoke to them and I said, listen, please, as religious people, we don't have this animosity towards you. We believe it's a sin and we don't hate the sinner. We hate the sin. There can be instances where we hate the sinner too, but that could go with anyone who drinks alcohol and is proud of it, whatever it may be. That, but, that, that's the key thing. Exactly. Proud. But proud. But how proud and, that you're yes. broadcasting it to other people. Exactly. So look, many people are, you know, they, they may be going through this, but they don't declare it, you know, proudly and make videos yes. and share share it to the yes. people holding a ceremony calling yes. the guests in that's exactly that's promoting fahish exactly. yeah that's that's dangerous and that some people can say even leads to kufr like that's a big big problem exactly to broadcast your sins and yes. make it a part of religion yes. that's actually it's a deep deep theological that yes issue. that's problematic i know that is istihlal if you make it if you say no this is halal you are basically become a disbeliever so I think that's it. I think it's very clear. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide them and make it easy that they're being tested. Everyone's being tested. But it's as simple as that. You don't go against the Sharia just because you're being tested or you have a weakness. Uh, your nikah is battled. You are committing zina. Uh, forget zina. Uh, you are doing something that, you know, it's it's totally impermissible. Uh, and yeah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide them and guide us, inshallah. I mean, uh, that's what we want to say, inshallah. Especially you as well. Yeah, I mean, especially me. I think me, uh, d deeply me, inshallah, subhanallah, brothers and sisters. Because yeah. it's Ali needs... Assalamu alaikum. Islam net is establishing a Guys, masjid and a community was center. An interesting reaction, and I think it is prohibited. We all know it is prohibited, and it's like it's like these guys are getting a taste of how I feel when I see Christians getting married. Like it's very very stupid when I see a man and a man and a pastor is there blessing them. It does not make sense. To be honest, it, it's clearly written, like, don't... I don't know how people want to put it. You can claim you are this and not follow your rules, like... It's, that's not how it works, like, you can't say you're an American and you hit the flag and maybe they are raising the symbol and you are, you are like, nah, I don't raise the flag and stuff like that. But seriously, if you are... An American, you have to act like an American and you have to follow their rules and regulation. So as you bring a Christian and a Muslim, like follow the rules and regulation of the religion. This, this is stupid. To be honest, I don't think those people might in a Muslim country because I don't think that marriage could have finished. So guys, tell me what you think about this video. Just like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.